Good morning, it's Julie Cube from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I want to thank you for joining me today in this acrylic pour. Um, thank you so much for all you guys subscribing. I've had an absolute record week for subscribers to my channel. So I'm absolutely overwhelmed. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so because it's absolutely free and I'd be over the moon. So thank you so much. It helps me um, build my channel and I just want to thank you guys that have already done it and hope that you're enjoying my channel as you uh, send me lovely, lovely comments and support and encouragement that I'm so thankful for you guys. Okay, let's get into this particular pour. I am, um, this is a I think it was a 40 by 40 square canvas. I'm doing a flip cut pour. I'm doing four flips. So I'm varying the colors. This is, uh, yeah, on the each cup. I, I think I'm doing two in a bright color and two in a, a duller, a duller, a duller color, a duller color. Um, this is a little bit thin, the paint, for a natural flip cup, so I'm just fingers crossed that it's actually going to give me something nice. <laughs> so that's just um, white. I'm using the uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics and, um, okay, I'll try and keep to what I said I was going to do. So I'm going to do two in bright, but I'll switch them around, and then two in a bit more placid is that the word i could say placid colors so and it's got that sort of wicker yellow in it like um a um buttercup and this is the burnt umber just want to throw something in there that'll give it a bit of oomph and i'm going to add some gold over that burnt umber I'm going to add some of the, this is Dimensions by Montmartre because they don't have the big um, metallic copper in um, in the uh, studio acrylics, I don't believe. I will add some more white. Those, it's quite nice actually. Um, trying to where am I go okay a bit of this this is that my berry delicious that I make up myself but this particular one I did this a different way I did this one was just with um, magenta the Montmartre magenta and then I just added a nice blob of black and it has sent it such a gorgeous color I'm really happy with it so I'm just gonna pour some of the white to top that up. I really like in those colours now. <laughs> should I do all four similar or shall I go for the... Ah, goodness, decisions. Okay, I'm going to go some... I'll pour some red which might turn a bit pink because I've got the white on the bottom so that wasn't good thinking, Jilly. Never mind. All of the materials that I'm using today, I have descriptions in the drop down box and um, suppliers that you can click the link if you're in Australia. And there's also links, I believe, for the US and um, UK and Europe. And most everything these days can be found on uh, Amazon. Amazon. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more of the dull down gold in here. Oops, oops a daisy, Maisie. I'm going to add some of that glorious, berry delicious, delicious. Okay. Um, let go back into my red again. Three cup flip. I'm not sure whether I'll take the flips from the outside of the canvas or from the inside out. 
I'm a bit undecisive on that one. Um, do I want to add another? Add a bit more of the gold in on that. Might as well use the last dregs up of this. Try and use every last bit of your paints. I see so here's somebody revving an engine out there. I'm not sure what. I know it's not my husband. Uh, we're on a property, so I don't know where the noise is coming from. Um, might go back and put the very last bit on the the cherry on the top of the cakes. I might just go the white again because the white should make the cells stand out nicely that come up in this. Um, my mixing recipe is and how I mix that you'll find that information in the underneath this video. And I do this has all got two drops of the Helmar silicon added, so I need to swap some around. Now, do I go from the centre out or from the out in? Might do it from centre out. Okay. Take these off. I'll probably end up going AWOL with this because, because I will. Okay. Take that out. It's got a red in it. So that will go out that way. Oops, the days. Oh, my giddy old goodness okay gone a bit ah gotta do this quickly Jill ah what have I got going on here okay I had a plan in my head and as this definitely shows it doesn't always work to plan but the colors I've got in there are pretty delish okay let's see if I can do this the paint is very thin for a flip cup and you need thicker paint so don't do don't make my mistake okay one two three oh i've got plenty of left in my cups so if i need to oh wow is this what rich colors are they so nice and rich. Now, do I do... Do I pour the rest of the paint over the edge on there? Just pouring this. It'll just make it stretch that little bit further because it'll run off that bit, Will. Oh, the bottom of the cup is deliciosa. Got loads left in that one, not so much left in this one. Let's see how I go. So rich. Oh, look at this. Wowzers. That's. I'm going to keep those away for a second until I tilt. I'll just give it a little bit of a torch to bring those cells up and pop the air bubbles, give it a pop, wow, look at that, look at that, that is pretty, Ugh, that's unbelievable, how different that is, and I did the same this side with the same colours. That's crazy, isn't it? So I'm just going to give it a very gentle ah. Oh, I really don't want to get rid of those, but there's no way around it because I've got to tilt this paint to cover the canvas. So, ah, oh, always the way. But the best thing is if you've got some absolutely glorious cells that you just take a photograph of them before they disappear because you can either use that on a print or a, a screensaver on your phone so they won't be lost because you've got a record of it so 
I should be doing what I'm suggesting because I really love this area but it's got a big island come there but never mind never mind it's nice and slowly just take it easy there's no rush don't worry too much about your edges because there's something that you can fix <gasps> come back over here you wowzers that is just amazing those colors together but i'm not liking these i mean i've only put two drops of the silicone it may be because the paint is very thin it may be because of the gold it's a bit weird that because but they're nothing that i can't fix so i'm not I'm not going to worry too much about it, but those colours are absolutely stunning together, just so rich and oh, and it's it's glistening under this light because of the gold in it that's under there. Come on down here, you baby. Wow. See, when you do a flip cup in very runny paints or your paints are so much thinner, this is what you're going to get. You're not going to get that solid looking cells all structured. You're going to get more of a wayward look um, if your paint's runnier. Um, and obviously some people love it and some people think, no, that's not the way to go. But that is just... <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm going to put the um, torch over it and see what happens, but I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Constructive criticism is absolutely fine. I don't mind that at all. That is probably something that I haven't done in a long time. Wowzers. I like it. That would look so good with a resin coat if it stays like this. So, wait. Please wait till the end and I will put some photos on as it's dried. I won't put the photos on if I'm going to resin it because that'll be way down the track because I would leave something like this for about a good month to dry. Um, before I, I even gloss coat it not so thrilled about these coming up but I could either embellish them with the little um, just the skewer like just to break that circle up just like that so if you've got like a big globule that you don't like just get this is just a little wooden skewer and just don't have to go all the way through the whole lot but just breaks up that sort of round island look and it develops it into something that looks a little bit more attractive i i would think it's just taking that off that I could do that through the gold but I'm going to leave it to develop that little bit further and see what comes of it the photos will be at the end I am really happy with that because it's oh it does not show how actually the colors are just beautiful in there um, I will take some photographs of it photos will be on at the end if you probably want to see the joy uh, dried version that will be in a obviously a couple of weeks when it's all nice and dry they'll be on my acrylic art by jilly cube facebook page i usually uh post the dry versions on there uh or on my um pinterest or my what's the other thing instagram 
there you go i'm on all of those things if you yourselves would like to join us it's everybody's group it's not for me it's the australian acrylic pouring by jilly cube and capriole shabby chic and it's for everybody it's for your you guys to post your work on there so if you've done anything um, and you need a bit of help or advice it's it's for you it's especially for you guys it's not all about me on there so please uh, seek to join but you must answer the questions because the administration team won't um, accept your request unless you've just answered the simple questions that you abide by the rules of the um, the group be kind and respectful for one another which is you know the least we can expect so until next time guys thanks so much for joining i hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think um if you haven't tried doing a flip cut pour with your paints that bit thinner thinner um give it a go because it gives a whole different look it gives so much movement and interest it's yeah it's a goer it's a goer okay till next time bye for now